So the presidential candidates are at the Iowa Steak Fry, and uh, they're trying to get votes in the goofiest way possible. I know it's really boring to, like, knock on doors and talk to people and do rallies and town halls and listen to people's concerns. You know, what Bernie's been doing recently is having people tell them what's the worst, uh, most crazy medical bill you've ever had, and he's gotten so many responses. It's absolutely mind-blowing. You know, people have been showing up to his rallies. One guy said, I'm going to kill myself because I have $100,000 in medical debt. Bernie literally talked him out of that. I mean, this stuff is heartbreaking and incredibly important. Um, so while Bernie's going around the country, you know, trying to um, save it, uh, take a look at what some of the other candidates are doing. Who does that work on? Who's like, you know, I was on the fence, but when I saw Klobuchar dance, you know, Mayor Pete's uh, synchronized dancing. <laughs> he wasn't there, to be fair. It was just his supporters who were doing the synchronized dancing. But like, and listen, maybe I'm here. I might be a little bit, you know a victim of my own perception because maybe there are people out there who are like, yeah, fun, loving, and cool. Want to have a beer with them. Totally. That's makes them more electable and likable. I'm sure there are people like that out there because it's not like everybody who's voting is ideologically consistent and they're going through the policies with a fine tooth comb. No, some people vote on totally arbitrary metrics, including stuff like this that may impact them in one direction or another. But, um, I mean, listen, guys, I don't want to be too much of a buzzkill here. If you have a candidate who's busting ass and talking about policy nonstop and doing everything they can to help people out and they have a great record, if you got all those things in a row, then sure, every now and then you have some fun. It's no big deal. You know, it's kind of the reason why I threw in that question at the end uh, to Bernie when I interviewed him about Michael Jordan versus LeBron James because... Yeah, why not throw one little funsies thing in there because we're so serious all the time and I was just asking you about all this policy stuff. So I get it. You could have some fun, but um, <clears throat> I guess it's these particular candidates who get under my skin a little bit because they're not offering real solutions. And so this is kind of like a substitute for offering real solutions. I, I won't get you Medicare for all for real, but maybe I'll dance in a weird way. <laughs> 